Hello my lovely Aquarius. I hope that all of you are doing amazing and today we're going to do your reading for the month of October going towards um, November. Now um, when it comes to your connection this is a time where um, a lot of doubt a lot of delays are getting over for you so if you have been waiting for something to happen between you and this person um, your time is here now. Now why is it happening now is for a lot of Aquarius, this has to do with your own self-limiting um, belief system. The old systems are collapsing and if you look around the world, you're going to see that um, the way that people used to do things is not working anymore and so is perhaps the way that you used to do things is not working and you have to leave certain things behind. It could be your job, it could be a situation, it could even be a karmic partner. Whatever it is, I feel that the time has come for you to leave that that old system and that could be your own beliefs um, in the past. Now um, there is going to be a lot of action happening. Tomorrow we are going to have a full moon in Aries and this is going to fire up your energy. This is going to push you towards your goals and especially when it comes to your connection you're going to feel more um, sure about it. You're going to remove all of these doubts that you had in your mind, maybe over analyzing, maybe overthinking. On your person's end, what is happening is that your person knew since the beginning that you are the one for them. And I feel that maybe um, they were so um, enthusiastic about it. Maybe they wanted things to happen really fast between the both of you, but the separation happened and um, perhaps you two had that tower moment. Now, what does this person feel is that they also want something happen between the both of you. This person is hoping that the physical union is going to happen pretty soon because um, uh, the way that they're looking at this connection is if the physical union is not happening, then um, they are um, thinking that maybe they need to walk away from it. Um, but the truth is that no one can walk away from this connection because you two are meant to be, you two are destined to be together um, in a physical reality. And why is that? Because you two are meant to do something together. It could be a mission. I'm strongly seeing that it could be your mission. Um, especially if you're a twin fam and you're watching this, you have, um, you could have a double mission with your person. Now, um, how they feel or what is going to happen is that maybe your person is going to message you maybe they are maybe you two are just going to talk to each other about how and when you are going to meet up because i'm definitely seeing that there is going to be a meetup happening now let's move the camera down and we're going to take a look and see but there is um it could also be that you might just decide that you are going to message this person unexpectedly okay either you or them um, one of you are going to surprise the other person Okay, so let's see what is happening here. But definitely I'm seeing a meeting happening for you guys. Or a union or reunion um, happening in the fall season. And if you are in other parts of the world, could be your could be your spring. Sorry guys. For a second. I couldn't talk. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, please tell me what is going on within this connection. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, okay? We have the Ace of Swords and this is on your end. And what else is going on? This is on your end with the Four of Pentacles. This is again on your end with the Nine of Swords. Uh, this is your energy. And let's see what is their energy. <coughs> And uh, this is your person's energy. This is the hanged man. Spirit, please tell me what is happening within this connection. We also have the four of um, chalice or it's the four of cups on their end. <laughs> and we also have the two of chalice. This is the um, union or this is a spiritual bond that you two have with each other. This is definitely a divine union that's happening for you guys, as I said. And it's really interesting because um, <clears throat> look at the seasoning. The season looks like um, fall here for those of you that live in northern hemispheres. And, um, and over here, it looks like spring. So maybe you two are um, living in different parts of the world where one part is um, 
is uh, fall season and the other one could be springtime. What else is going on? We also have um, the Eight of Wands, that's on your persons, and we also have the Tree of Pentacles, again, on your persons' end, and we have the Tower. Wow, look at that. Yes, I feel like the Tower moment has happened um, for both of you, but it's um, a blessing in disguise. We also have the Ten of Wands, that's Energy of the Union. And two more cards. We have <clears throat> the Queen of Wands and we also have the Princess of Pentacles. Now, um, let me also get one more card for your person. And uh, remember that the energies could be vice versa, so take what resonates. I know that some people say that uh, the energies could be different. That's okay. And this is also on your person's end, and we have the sun. Okay. Sorry, this is your you, and this is them. Okay. Now, what is going on here is that, let's take a look at your person's energy. Your person's energy is interesting because um, they had awakening upon meeting you. This person knew that you are the one for them. They've been waiting for you for years. They've been waiting for you lifetime after lifetime to meet you. And you finally, you, you both of you have met in the past. Now, um, what has happened is that your person is, um, right now, they pulled the energy back from the connection. Why they did that is because they are very passionate about you. This person is so passionate about you, but um, they were seeing that um, you were not available emotionally or maybe you were just... Um, uh, maybe there were a lot of negativity around how you two are going to meet or where you two are going to leave. There were a lot of questions and doubts for the both of you. So that's why your person has been pulling their energy back in order to concentrate on themselves. But they've been also waiting for you, okay? This person has been... Um, waiting and waiting but nothing has been going on uh, maybe for some of them um they also could have um, leo in their chart I'm, I'm strongly seeing a fire sign here uh, maybe they have leo sagittarius or aries in their chart but this person has been concentrated on the material world counting their coins or writing about their finances <clears throat> um, when it comes to you, I feel like they are just um, getting tired, okay? This person is getting tired of maybe the union or physical union not happening yet between the both of you. However, because of that um, awakening, I feel that their life has been changed. So you change their life for the better. Now, for you, what is going on is that you want to <clears throat> tell this person the truth. I feel like you've been feeling lonely. You've been feeling that maybe money was short or... There has been a job that you've been doing and you have not been happy about it. Now, you are also, um, some of you could be very artistic. Maybe you have a lot of talents that you are not using and spirit is encouraging you to step into your divine mission. Now, why you thought that this connection is not going to work out is because of all of your um, self-limiting beliefs. You felt that maybe you cannot get away from the past or something painful that has happened to you. However, the good thing is that you are beyond all of that. You are beyond all of these illusions, okay? Something that you created, it's, not, it's your mind. Your mind has created these limitations that this person is too far, we have different um, backgrounds, or um, I don't have enough money, or we don't have enough money, where are we going to leave, and things like that. And that's why maybe you, um, you were a little bit... Um, uh, you know pulling your energy out of the connection too so i'm saying that both of you pulled your energy back from each other in order to concentrate on your life now um for some of you instead of processing your emotions i feel like you've been um, working and working okay with no results i feel like you've been working on something that is not bringing you prosperity it's too much um you feel drained at the end and money is not enough or abundance is not coming because of this work that you're doing so i'm strongly seeing that for some of you there could be a change of job in some ways maybe um a lot of you you are very talented but you're not using your talents maybe you're working for someone and that person is um could be stingy or maybe this person doesn't have high morals whatever the situation is i feel like you are unhappy either with your boss or someone in at your work environment now um i feel like you're going to be receiving um 
an email or a text from your person this person could be writing to you or maybe you're going to be writing an email to your person or a text message okay definitely there's a message coming along and you two are going to chat you two are going to have a conversation about it because your person honestly is also tired maybe they're getting bored of waiting maybe they're bored of um um, you know thinking like when this is actually gonna happen and even though in the beginning they, they were very enthusiastic I feel like they're losing it this person is losing hope now what is the energy of the Union is um, is beautiful because you two had a, a tower moment you two um, your foundation is about to fall apart or i feel like for some of you maybe it already did the separation has happened after this beautiful two of cups now um what spirit is saying is that you two are gonna get back together okay after this tower moment yes of course things has been collapsed and of course there has been a destruction but that's why after that you two are gonna build something together now the road ahead for the both of you is not gonna be easy like you two have heavy loads you two have great responsibilities when it comes to this connection why because this is a spiritual connection and it's meant to be this is something that um both of you agreed even before coming into this lifetime to do together this is your mission and if you look at these two they have these heavy um, loads and it looks like watermelons and um, they have to take it to their house now the road is long but these two are together so they know that they can do it so you two are going to be able to do this to share the loads or to help each other to get to your house or to your destination which means that this is your mission. This is something that both of you are meant to do. And yes, the tower moment needed to happen. Why? Because both of you were going through your separate path, but now your path is um, coming together. You two are meant to build something together. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. This is the results of perhaps both of your spiritual work and you are carrying it to your house, to your, um, perhaps this is your home. Maybe some of you are going to purchase a home together. Okay, now let's go deeper into it and see what else is going on. Yeah, for um, your person, I feel like maybe they've been um, working on their finances. Okay, this person has been working on their finances could be an earth sign as well um especially capricorn or aries okay just a second guys okay I don't know if I said this is eight of wands or three of wands. Maybe I said three, but this is eight. Okay, this is eight of wands, and there is an information coming to you. Okay, there is a message. So I feel like your your person maybe they message you or they are going to message you very soon. And um, yeah, I'm seeing like for a lot of you, you're very very talented, especially painting or drawing. Some of you, um, but maybe you're not using it to make money or to bring abundance. And spirit is encouraging you to do that okay so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna open a new deck and this one is called the lantern oracle and uh this is by angelina uh, mirabitu um i believe if i'm not pronouncing it wrong okay sorry guys just give me a second Oh my goodness, my energy gets is getting worse here. Okay, hold on a second. All right. Okay, now let's see. Wow, these are beautiful. Look at the back of the deck. Uh, it's really, really beautiful. Okay. And it also comes, of course, with a booklet, which I'm not going to use it unless if I'm being guided to. And let's see. Wow, these cards are really easy to shuffle and they're not stuck together. That's the beauty of it because it's matte at the back. So um, actually it's matte um, on both ways, on both this. Uh, 
the front and the back so it's easily um, you can shuffle it wow I'm really impressed the quality is really really good okay so let's see let's see what is going on for you guys spirit please tell me what is going on for my lovely Aquarius and their divine counterparts okay oh my god we have home this is beautiful you two are coming home together and it says may your body be very a harmonious balance of love strength um light and pleasure um leaves wow may your body be where a harmonious balance of love strength light and pleasure leaves oh my god i feel like you two might be um purchasing a house together we also have inner life your inner life is a garden to be um cultivated this is beautiful this is yours and we also have lantern and it says um consciousness is light that is beautiful that's on their end okay I'm gonna get some more cards and see yeah your person definitely has been going through the process of awakening upon meeting you we also have radical self-love that's beautiful it says we can only receive love to the extent that we unconditionally love and leave the truth of ourselves this is on your end that is beautiful we also have false beliefs and it says once um, the untruth that we believe about ourselves are illuminated so are the ways that we can release the false limitations they confine us to oh my goodness guys this is exactly what i said about you and this relationship i feel strongly that what is stopping you from coming into union with your person is your own self-limiting beliefs you have something that you need to overcome as a lesson here and this is a very powerful lesson to learn let's see what is on their end spirit please tell me what is going on for Aquarius we have eternal gatekeeper acknowledge assert and protect what is right for you that's on your person's end spirit please tell me what is going on within this connection okay what we have is sharing um there is giving um in receiving and receiving in giving this is on your person's end spirit please one more card for the union what is the energy of the union for these two okay and we have the unknown knowing the unknown that's the energy of the union we also have strength of vulnerability true power lies at the root of a perceived weakness okay so first of all both of you make each other vulnerable in different ways now what is going on for you and how you feel vulnerable um, with your person is that there's something about you that you believe that um, maybe you're not worthy of love maybe there's something about loving yourself that you need to overcome and this person is teaching you that because they love you unconditionally this person loves you so much that you are wondering and doubting it a lot maybe you're doubting why this person loves me because i have such and such um faults i have such and such issues but this person is still loving me unconditionally so i feel strongly that for aquarius this has to do with your self-love you need to love yourself and um you cannot give this person love if you are not loving yourself first and it says we can only receive love to the extent that we unconditionally love and leave the truth of ourselves so there's something that maybe you need to leave a certain lifestyle or a certain life 
um, in order to be true to yourself and in order to love this person because you cannot love this person if you are not loving your true self and the way that this person loves you is that this person loves you because they see your true self that maybe you were not able to see in the past why because you have certain beliefs about yourself there is certain false beliefs that you need to overcome your spirit animal is also an owl and you are a wise soul you are an old soul and you have that sacred knowledge within you so Spirit is, uh, is encouraging you to step into your divine mission as opposed to do something that is not aligned with your soul. And it says, once the untruths that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations they confine us to. So the sooner that you are releasing those self-beliefs about yourself, the sooner your path is going to be revealed to you. It's so beautiful it has to do with your inner life it has nothing to do with the outside condition maybe for some of you you're like oh my god but people are doing this and that to me i don't like my job i don't like this situation it's my family it's like this and that none of that these are all your illusions if you look at this um, lady or this feminine, look at all of these sources around her. There's nothing to fear about. It's all inside you. And once you find that truth within yourself, you're going to be able to love yourself and love your person as well because if you have you don't have if you don't have self-love how can you love the other person and says inner life your inner life is a garden to be cultivated so that's why the tower moment has happened between the both of you for you to also see the truth within yourself it has to do with your inner world something that you had to overcome and um, it's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful some of you are really wise and old souls but why you are in this condition is because of your own self-limiting beliefs something that um was preventing you from maybe doing what you really love to do to seeing the truth of yourself and it only can happen when one goes within so that's why this tower moment happened and look at these two owls you two are wise souls you two are twin flames or soulmates that are very wise and you two are meant to be in each other's life in order to evolve spiritually and also thrive in this lifetime it, it you know some people say well the physical doesn't necessarily need to happen yes it will happen because what would be the purpose of it it's not only we are not here only for spiritual purposes we are also here to experience um, abundance to experience joy in this lifetime so and that's what I see because for some of you it's been years and years you've been doing something that was not aligned to, with your soul maybe you've been um, it was making you feel old like you're feeling um, it was taking away your youth and no matter what your age is um, this perhaps uh, work that you've been doing has been draining you and spirit is encouraging you to step into your divine mission some of you are extremely talented um, with artistic abilities maybe some of you can paint now um, and it depends so it doesn't have to be painting but I'm seeing a lot of blessings that you have or gifts that you're not maybe using some of you you also have um, your you could be having um, you could be clairvoyant clear audience or you have a lot of psychic abilities as well you have a lot of um, ancient ancient wisdom within you now with your person is absolutely beautiful too your person um your person is learning the biggest learning in life is allowing themselves to receive so receive and give not only give maybe this person is such a giving person and they're learning to give and receive they're learning how to do it within the community and also within this connection this has been something that your person has been learning learning the joy of giving and receiving sharing there is giving and receiving and receiving and sharing this is beautiful. I feel like your person is such a family oriented one. They really, really care about their family. Maybe they, um, they love their parents. This person love, um, to have a family life. They love to be surrounded by family, by friends. Like this person absolutely loves that kind of a family life. 
maybe they are dreaming that maybe they could have that with you as well now with a lantern we also have number 33 and number 44 so these are the master numbers meaning that your person is mastering something at this time and says consciousness is light so if you look there has been a lot of storm look at the background a lot of storm and look at what is in her hands is the light or the lanterns and um, to be honest this looks like libra to me so maybe for some of you this person is a libra with strong fire in their chart and um, what has happened is that this tower moment has been causing your person to awaken you have awakened this person whether you are aware of it or not so maybe you did it and um Maybe they haven't told you or maybe you're not aware of that, but this is something really, really powerful has happened to your person. They have been awakened um, to their uh, to divine light and maybe for some of them even to their um, divine mission. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that some of them are uh, working in their divine mission. Some of them are could have been even warrior in past lives. It says eternal cape, cape, uh, gatekeeper, acknowledge, assert, and protect what is right for you. This person is also very protective of you. They protect you no matter what, you know, you could do anything and this person still will be protecting you. Even like, let's say if you two are within um, a community of people or friends, um, let's say if someone says something against you, they're always going to defend you. They believe in you. This person definitely believe in you. And I'm saying that in past lives, perhaps they could have been both of you were warriors i'm seeing two warrior energy here could be earth um could be rainbow warriors or there's that um warrior energy here okay now um what is the energy of the union is a strength of vulnerability what both of you are learning is that vulnerability is beautiful it's something that is bringing the both of you together both of you are learning how to show your vulnerability oh my god i can't pronounce it to each other and that is beautiful and says true power lies at the root of a perceived weakness so you know vulnerability is not a weakness it's a strength and this is something that both of you are learning from each other we also have the unknown which is again another beautiful card which means that both of you knowing the unknown and that means that both of you are stepping into something that you don't know what is going to happen you just both of you know that you are stepping into that sorry guys give me a second here sorry guys okay so this is beautiful both of you are stepping into unknown you don't know what is going to happen but you just know that this is home yes this is unknown yes both of you don't know what is going to happen and yet this is your home you just know that this person makes you feel like home and this is exactly where both of you are going with the two of cups and ten of wands look at where both of you are going to the home Look at this house. This is your home. This person is your home. And this is exactly where both of you are going. And of course, it's not going to be easy. And that's why both of you had this tower moment in order to go through your individual lessons before both of you are coming back into this beautiful two of cups or this union that's happening for you. And it says, may your body be where harmonious balance of love, strength, light, and pleasure leaves that is so beautiful yeah some of you are moving to a house together you two are going to change your residency or i'm seeing that um there is that house at the end okay you two are taking all of the lessons with you all of these wisdom two wise souls are joining their uh joining um with each other in the physical wow this is extremely powerful guys and what i'm gonna do is let's continue this and see what else is here for both of you 
I'm just looking at the cards and see what to use for you. Okay. You two, both of you, perhaps could have been um, warriors. Both of you have that warrior spirit in you. Very wise. The owl has been showed up um, really like in different. Um, what is that? Yeah, there was like an owl here and um, there was like actually two owl and there was one owl here. So it tells me that both of you are very wise old souls, especially for you Aquarius. Definitely owl could be your spirit animal. Perhaps it's showing up. But it talks about the wisdom that you are um, gaining from this connection. Spirit, please tell me what is what else is going on for my lovely Aquarius and their divine counterparts. We have see yourself in nature. As I said, for some of you, this person is a Capricorn nature lover, someone who is very free spirited. Um, we also have embrace the masculine number eleven. Wow. Okay, so your masculine could be an Earth sign for some of you, especially if it's a Capricorn. You are coming into union with this Capricorn and um, they love nature this person could be like into camping into like just living in the woods i don't know this person just loves that and we also have seek your awareness within this is for you you've been doing a lot of soul searching you've been going within to see what is your truth who you are and why you are here and what is this connection is all about you've been doing all of that and it also says reveal your truth so you are taking off your mask whatever that is not true to you you are revealing that and remember that mask is uh, when we talk about mask that means that hiding your your true self behind something that you believe it's you but it's not so you are revealing your true self meaning that you are aligning yourself with your soul with what your soul is revealing to you or showing to you and that's why you're going to be stepping into your divine mission maybe changing your job or even changing your residency whatever that is not aligned must go and this is exactly what is happening here we also have um, let the emotion flow this person is very very emotional about you i feel like they um with their third eye they can see you they can feel you and sometimes they cry because they miss you a lot uh, we also have see the signs oh my god the universe is sending you a lot of signs a lot of signs you are receiving from the universe so listen to that listen to that because it's leading you towards your union with this person and says make the sacrifice there needs to be a sacrifice needs to be made i feel like it is on your end um, and it has to do maybe with your job or something something you need to end before you can come to this union maybe it's a karmic relationship for some of you or it could be a, a something else that needs to be that needs to be ending before you two can come to union and says love without condition this person loves you unconditionally no matter what no matter how you've been telling yourself that maybe you don't deserve this love or this is like you know whatever that it is this person loves Loves you Aquarius no matter what you are loved by this person unconditionally we also have nourish the soul Wow again another spirit animal and it's a black panther we also have need and necessity that's the energy of the Union heat the messengers this is the energy of the union so there is a message i don't know one of you is going to message the other person so there is going to be a lot of messages and also messages from spirits um you two might be receiving a lot of signs from the universe um, about contacting each other or coming into union with each other okay so the energy of the union is yin and yang the sun and the moon you two are very different and at the same time you two are the same soul in two bodies in two different bodies and uh, embrace the spirit wow this is also powerful it's an eagle 
Um, your person's spirit animal could be an eagle. For you, it could be an owl or black panther. There's also a um, couple of other animals here um, because there's a bear here. So I feel like, you know, uh, like maybe you or them like are very protective of each other. You two protect each other. You two never talk bad, you know, behind each other. Like there's no, none of that. So you two are very protective of each other's energy and each other in general. Sorry, guys, give me a second. Now, how does your person feels right now is that they are feeling very emotional right now and um, they know that maybe I feel like maybe they're losing hope. So um, something is going to happen and both of you are going to message each other. You two are going to be guided. OK, you two are going to be guided to this union or to message each other in order to see each other. Heed the messengers. There's a blue jay, maybe for some of you, and blue jay is um, usually the bird of um, around North America, like especially Canada, maybe your person lives um, in Canada, definitely a nature lover with Capricorn strongly in their chart, or it could be other earth sign um, that I'm seeing. This person is learning to um, embrace the masculine or embrace the masculinity within them. Maybe they've been just um, too much into their feminine energy. Maybe they've been giving and giving and they were not allowing themselves to receive. Okay, so I feel like they are embracing their masculine energy and the masculine is about um, and of course the masculine is about giving and feminine is about receiving but maybe for them it could have been the other way around in whatever way I feel like they're embracing that masculine energy maybe in the feminine they've been um, I feel like the energy could have been out of balance perhaps for them either in giving or receiving okay and um, yeah they love you unconditionally this person um, loves you unconditionally they're also listening to uh, the messages from spirit that's why it says embrace this spirit because this person is listening to that for you I feel like um, they're asking you to reveal your truth to them and to yourself if something is not working um, if it's a job or if it's a relationship you need to leave that situation and um, if you've been wondering or looking for answers the answer is within you okay the answer is within you and look at that this is beautiful there is that um your heart look at the heart it's like a fire and there is the eye here meaning that your heart is going to be showing you the truth this is your inner light seek your answers within so whatever that you've been seeking it lies within you and that's why you have a lot of inner like a lot of um, cards that are showing your inner truth with the ace of swords with a person meditating here and again this card and there was another card talking about inner life everything comes from within as within so without and um, definitely there needs to be a sacrifice you might have to end something in order to come to union um, with this person something has to end it says make the sacrifice you have to do it um, there's something that you need to and it's only you you have to end it before you can come into union with them and to see the signs the universe is going to show you a lot of signs in regards to your connection some of you are born in the year of dragon and uh, some of you could have leo in your chart as well um, your person is strongly could be a fire sign as well that's what I see but for some Aquarius you could have Leo in your chart because um, you're meant to step into some kind of a leadership um, position yeah false beliefs you see like once you get rid of all these false beliefs then the union is gonna happen for you wow a lot of powerful spirit animals are being showed up here including the Black Panther here and it says nourish the soul nourish whatever that makes your soul happy or make you happy get rid of everything that is not working and you will see that the union is going to happen for you such powerful reading 
Now, no matter what, your person has promised that um, even before coming into this lifetime to love you no matter what. So, you know, even like maybe if you've been experiencing a lot of darkness, I feel like your person loves you regardless. And it says need and necessity. So I feel like you two just um, need each other. It's like just, um, it's just like without the night, there's no light or without the sun, there's no moon. It's like you two are just like each other's yin and yang. Um, and it's not about completing, it's about complementing each other's energy, the dark and the light. There is again an ego and there is a third eye, meaning that this connection is a spiritual connection. Look at all of these um, birds in this card, but most importantly, look at the yin and yang symbology. So you two are meant to come into union because it's just... It cannot exist. One cannot exist without the other. Okay, just a second. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys, um, what am I going to give you? Hmm. I'm just looking at my cards and see. Okay, I think I'll give you one um, animal cards and then we're going to switch into charms and see what charms we're going to get. I just want to see what spirit animals are going to be showing up for you. It will be very interesting to see <clears throat> because it seems like your spirit animals are the ones that are sending you all of these messages. Okay. For Aquarius, you might be seeing dove or butterflies. There is a lot of signs from the nature uh, that you might be seeing or your spirit animals, especially eagle and there's a black panther, eagle and also owl. There's crow as well. Now, what is that? We have the cat spirit. Okay, that is on your end. And cat is, of course, in the family of the panther. So... Maybe for some of you, you're a cat person even. We also have koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Oh my God, definitely spirit has a plan for the both of you in this case. Some of you are could be living in Australia. Yeah, Australia is showing, showed up. Cow spirit is an earth sign for some of you. The miracles are endless. Um, it's a Taurus that uh, or maybe they have it in their chart um that's what i see armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries that's on your person's end one of their lessons you also have the hummingbirds it's beautiful so oh my god time for a deep dive this is the love between the both of you this is the time to dive in into this unknown with your person a lot of happiness and this is the spirit plan for both of you that is coming into fruition um swan is could be one of your spirit animals that's one of you as well but the hummingbird is saying be here now there is a lot of joy coming and you have to trust that spirit has a plan for both of you what else is here we also have buffalo spirit an abundant universe will provide something that you're worried about your job or something that you want to leave but you're afraid that maybe the universe is not going to provide for you truth transcends illusion again and again be truthful to yourself leave the situations that are not working for you like your job your um you know even like a karmic partner whatever it is spirit is um, emphasizing that truth transcends sense illusion and claiming your independency get rid of um, situations that are not working for you because um, once you step into your mission you are going to be able to be provided for by the universe so do not worry about that the abundant universe will provide for you Aquarius there is nothing to worry about and um, the truth Look at what it says. It's really interesting because this is exactly aligned with that, with the dragonfly. And it says, um, once 
uh, the untruths that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways that we can release the false limitations they confine us to. This is so important. The truth transcends illusion. And um, there was another card for you. So a lot of wow, this is like extremely powerful. And it says, seek your answers within. Again, another card about looking within. But there was another one that talks about reveal your truth, okay? So, and as I said, the energies could be vice versa. So take what resonates. And um, your person is learning um, about boundaries to say no to some people or situations. Maybe this person is a people uh, pleaser, okay? And they're saying um, that they're learning that lesson. But it's time for both of you to deep for a deep dive within this connection and swan is a sign of soulmates or twin flames yeah a lot of joy and happiness definitely this is a spirit plan for the both of you okay i think that that's that and we're gonna get you guys some uh actually i'm gonna give you a love letter by your person and see what they want to tell you and we're going to get you guys some charms and hopefully finishing this reading. Okay, what does your person wants to tell you is this. It says, the other day I heard a song that reminded me of you. My heart contracted and I felt the pang of nostalgia, a longing for what once was. I don't think I did a good job of letting you know how special you were to me. I hope, I hope you hear that song too. And I know I'm thinking about you. Oh my God, I want to cry. <clears throat> I hope you hear that song too. And I, and I know I'm thinking of you. Wow, this is beautiful. And know, and know that I'm thinking of you. I don't know why it made me so emotional, guys. Okay. So, this person definitely, maybe there's a song that both of you share. And maybe when both of you hear that it's just gonna um, bring a lot of emotions maybe it makes your person really emotional or maybe it makes both of you really emotional oh my god i can't believe this sorry guys it's making me really emotional and i think it's because of the full moon possibly <laughs> that's happening okay so let's see what is going on here for you guys i'm just going to get some charms for you and see what is what the spirit wants to say okay well first of all we have england maybe for some of you it could also be australia i don't know but um i mean i'm seeing like england is australia maybe for some of you and maybe they live in canada you live in australia we have the sunflowers it could be your favorite flower and also we have karmic triangle and six to seven months maybe there has been a separation yes that broke both of your hearts and we have letter l letter x letter o maybe there has been a karmic um partner or a situation like maybe a third party situation that could have been causing um the situation but they're asking you or maybe them whatever that is um, resonating we also have self-worth working on that maybe this is on you you needed to realize your self-worth self-confidence and we also have i felt i didn't deserve you and money issues financial we like you have letter m so i feel like maybe this is you it could also be them but because um, for a lot of Aquarius, I'm seeing that you are um, struggling with that self-worth or maybe a lot of you with money issues or finances as well. So this is the spirit message for you. It also says, I've been thinking um, a lot about this. I can't get you out of my head. Definitely. And it also says, what I feel is that I'm in love with you, um, but, uh, but hard to say it. So maybe they haven't been telling you, but they really love you. This person loves you unconditionally, as I said. End of a painful cycle for both of you. And twin flames or soulmates, it's time for union, definitely. I feel like fall season, yes. So for some of you, yes. Yin yang balance, oh my God. So maybe both of you needed to, sorry guys, I feel like my camera is a little bit off here. 
so yeah there's like yin and yang maybe both of you needed to balance the energies within you and it says separation is over not that it has ever been there because separation is an illusion but in any case this is a physical separation is over for both of you it's done you two are going to be together let it be and it says i felt guilty telling you um i hurt you i'm sorry maybe for some of them they hurt you or you hurt them um 11 11 it's your twin fame possibly or to our soulmate whatever it is summer is timing maybe for some of you it's summer and um for some of you maybe summer actually could be the time of union union again another confirmation letter s and it says winter maybe for some of you the timing for union could be around that time letter d letter s twin flame and a lot of Asia, India energy and it says I'm trying my best to bring um, stability within our connection. I want the stability. That's what they want. It has been tough when it comes to money. I felt worthless most of the time. I don't know. Maybe there's something about financial issue. It could be on your end too, but um, sorry guys, just a second. But somebody has been feeling that money is the issue within this connection, okay? And um, let's see what else. It says, our love story will be the greatest that has ever been written. Oh my God, this is what they want to tell you. Don't stop believing that one day we will be back together. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's like the Libra. So some of you, maybe it's a Libra. And we also have the candy and there is a star here. So that means that you are a sweet Aquarius or maybe they believe that you're sweet or there's some sweetness in you. I want to give you all that I have. I want to give you my heart and it says I want to make up for all the pain that I've given you. Maybe they hurt you in the past or maybe you hurt them. Um, so take what resonates, guys. I know that um, and it also says life is a gift life is a gift there's a panda so uh for some of you are from asia it could be like south asia asia uh some of you are musically talented maybe you need to use your talent and um there is a b here maybe for some of you this connection could be like you two are like honeybee or maybe it's like the connection is like that it's like sweet you know it's like sweet like honey we have Capricorn again. Could be um, Aries as well. Um, there's the shooting stars. So it's like the universe is going to bring your dreams come true about this person. This union is not only a dream. It's coming true for both of you. We also have Pisces. Maybe for some of you, you, are, um, you could be cusp Pisces for some of you. There's South Africa, Africa. Um, we have the secret love. Maybe for some of you, this connection could have been a secret. Maybe your friends or your family don't know about it. For some of you, you live in maybe a warm area. They live in a colder area or vice versa. We have California. and we have Aquarius or this looks like Sagittarius maybe for some of you and it says every journey starts with one step so I feel like both of you are going to be starting um, stepping into unknown with each other don't know where it's going we have Mexico here there's a cat here so maybe one of you are into cats one of you are a cat person okay and um i think that this is what i'm seeing for you guys what else is here yeah maybe some of you like wine some of you love drinking wine or into or are into wine especially red wine maybe maybe your person is again there's a lot of star here so they're talking about hope like there is hope within your connection don't lose hope or keep faith okay 
this is the main message as well um, some of you are definitely musically talented or there is music is connecting the both of you there is definitely a song okay um, that maybe both of you when you hear you think about each other it's your song it's the song that maybe um, you to share with each other there's also a camel here it could be like maybe for some of you are from um, Saudi Arabia or like Middle Eastern somewhere as well yeah okay guys i hope that you enjoy your reading i'm sending you guys so much love until next time